guys are afraid of failing finals week exams and do not want to end up like this guy, please listen carefully and take all precautions listed in this video. Thank you. It's Toma time! What is going on guys? Toma Motivates here and today I'm bringing you guys another motivational video. Now we gotta make this quick because finals week is right around the corner. Who knows, you could be taking the test right as you're watching this video. So let's get right into motivating you and making you survive through finals week. We all know how stressful, you know, how stressful it gets during finals week. The, the exam itself is not even the stressful part, it's the preparation for the exam. You know, thinking about the exams and thinking about all the things you have to do is worse than the finals. I'd rather just be taking the final right now and thinking about all the essays I have to do, thinking about all the presentations I have to do. It is just like, it creates this mental block in your head. It's like, it's like, you, it's like your brain and there's like this big brick wall of like presentation, essay, test, exam. And it just creates this brick wall and like you can't penetrate it. In your mind, it just feels like impenetrable. And that's why you need to rethink how you're thinking. Because at the end of the day, how many times have you guys actually failed a class? Actually failed a grade level? Most of you will say zero. Because you always succeed in the end, no matter how hard and no matter how stressful. And if you have failed in the past, that's just going to make you that much more motivated and dedicated to passing this exam week. You need to rethink that mental block. Don't bunch up all these due dates in the finals week in one brick wall. Because that's just going to make you feel like you can't accomplish it, you can't get past it. Do not take it on, you know, all at once. It's like fighting five people at once. You're not going to win the five versus one fight unless you're Toma Tales, but you know, compartmentalize it. Take on one person at a time. Take on one subject at a time. And through that, it's much easier and you won't have this mental block of I can't do it, there's too much going on. You know, it just creates so much anxiety. You need to rethink your approach to the exam and then you'll have so much less stress. Also, do not study 24 hours a day. Do not just focus all of your attention on finals week because that's going to leave you drained and emotionally damaged okay you need to take a break during studying because you're going to need more energy as you continue you know if you're studying eight hours at a go you're being counterproductive you're not going to be able to get all the information you know retained in your um you know in your memory you need to go outside and get some nature get some sun go to the beach take that you know half an hour hour break to let the sun give you energy so you can focus again and you're replenished to you know do what no one wants to do and study that's very very important to get past finals week don't take it all in at once and then take breaks school is not the end of your life okay so many teachers and so many people make you they they want you to think that you know if you fail this class you're gonna you know you're dead you're doomed you know, if you fail this class, it's the end of your life, you're done for, there's GTA wasted, you don't have another life. That's not true, okay? It's just, don't let them put fear inside of you. Forget about all the outside noise that teachers create and, you know, parents create of all the things they tell you to do. Just focus on what you know you need to do. And you know what you need to do to succeed in your class because you're the only one inside the class. The teacher, they're not focused specifically on you. They're focused on the 20 other people behind you and you. And your parents, they don't go to class every day. They don't know what you know, you know, what you need to know to pass the class. So just focus on, you know, yourself. You need to replace anxiety and stress with determination and urgency. Urgency and determination is literally a perfect substitute for stress and anxiety. Stress and anxiety, and, and anxiety is not needed. It does not help you at all. It just adds on to the building blocks of the struggles you have. So just stop being stressful, stop having anxiety, tackle everything one at a time, and then you'll replace anxiety with determination and you will feel more you know, positive, you'll feel more confident in whatever exam you're taking. It's like if you approach a girl and you're not confident and you're looking all scared and you say, hi, they're gonna shut you down. Being confident is always attractive and that you know, translates onto the pen and the paper because if you're confident, you're gonna do better on the exam. So be confident, you know, look at this F, tear that shit up, take the time to realize it's not as bad as it seems. You've done it many times in your life, whether you're in college, whether you're in high school, or whether you're in middle school. 
you're gonna do it over and over again. So don't make every year the worst year of your life because there's so much more to come. So let me give you a quick overview of what I just said. Replace stress and anxiety with determination and urgency. It's a perfect substitute. Next, get outside. Take time to replenish your mind. Take time to replenish your body because studying is very draining and nature will replenish you. It'll give you energy. Deep down, you know you're gonna pass, so don't doubt yourself. You know, it's, you're not gonna fail, you got this. And thirdly, school is not the end all be all, you know? Don't let them tell you that if you don't pass this exam, you're gonna fail, you're, gonna, you're never gonna have a good job in your life, you're gonna fail, you're gonna be homeless, whatever they tell you, don't listen, that just creates more fear, more anxiety. Be confident in knowing who you are, and be confident that when you put that pen to the paper, you're gonna get that A+, especially if you like the video. So yeah. Tomatales 2022, I hope you enjoyed this video and toodaloo.